Hi everyone and welcome to a new lesson on in structural analysis. In this example, we have a floor that is supported by joists and every joist is simply supported and subjected to a uniform design loading of 4 kN per meter. And we have to determine the maximum deflection of the joist and EI is constant. As we see, the joist is symmetric and the loading is uniform on it. So the maximum deflection must be in the center here. So first of all, we find the moment at the at a distance x from the uh, from the left end of this uh, joist. So start our solution. The moment equals to, we have to find the moment at this point. So uh, we multiply 20 multiplied by x, 20x, uh, minus, we concentrate this loading, it is 4 multiplied by x multiplied by its distance, the distance is the center here, between this and this, it is x by 2 x by 2 that is 20x minus 2x squared and this is the equation of the moment now we write the equation of the second degree uh, differential equations that represent the elastic curve that is d squared v by dx squared equals to m of our ei okay we solve for m equals to ei multiplied by d squared v of our dx squared this is number one and this is number 2. Now we integrate 2 times in order to get V. So we have EI multiplied by DV over DX equals to uh, 20 by 2 that is 10 X squared minus 2 by 3 X cubed plus C1. By integrating this for the second time, we have EI multiplied by V equals to 10 by by 3, that is 3.33 3 x cubed minus 2 by 3 into 4, that is uh, 1.667 x to the power 4 plus c1x plus c2 now we have to determine the values of c1 and c2 so the boundary conditions are at x equals to 0 we have v equals to 0 as a result, we get, we substitute these values in this equation and we get directly C2 equals to 0. The second boundary condition is at x equals to 10, we have v equals to 0. And from this, after substituting here in this equation, we find the value of C1 that is c 
3.33 multiplied by 10 uh, to the power 3 minus 0 0.667 multiplied by 10 to the power 4 minus C1 multiplied by 10 and from here we get C1 equals to uh, minus 166.6 and this is the value of C1. Now we write the equation of the elastic curve. As after substituting the values of C1 and C2, we get EI multiplied by V equals to 3.33 uh, X cubed minus 0 0.1667 X to the power 4 minus 166.7 multiplied by X plus C2 the value of C2 is 0 and this is the value of C1 okay now we have to find the maximum moment the maximum deflection the maximum deflection occurs in the center in the mid span of this joist as we see here this joist is symmetric so the mid span is 10, uh, 10 divided by 2 that is 5 so we substitute instead of x by 5 that is the mid span and solve for v so we get v equals to 3.33 multiplied by 5 to the power 3 minus 0 0.1667 multiplied by 5 to the power 4 minus 166.7 multiplied by 5 and the whole thing is divided by uh, ei And from this we get uh, V equals to after calculating minus 5 to 1 divided by EI and that is the uh, the maximum deflection that we were required to find thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe